Hola, compas. Este es mi regalo para ustedes. Un video chiquitito sobre cómo eh, hacer una reunión en Zoom con interpretación. So when we talk about Zoom interpreting, there are really three roles. The host role, the interpreter role, and the participant role. So I'm going to show you the host role. The host is the person who is making sure that this is going to be a multilingual call with the Zoom interpretation feature enabled. Entonces, la primera cosa es que tienen que ir a su cuenta de Zoom. No todos los pro accounts tienen the interpretation feature. You need a pro account plus webinar or you need a business account. Once you have that, you will go to settings, you'll go to meeting advanced, and you have to turn on interpretation. So that's the first part. After you pay for it, you have to turn it on. Now you're gonna set up your meeting. When you go to set up the meeting, you say the name, the time. You need to generate automatically. You cannot use a personal ID. And then you'll scroll to the very bottom and you will click on enable language interpretation. Do not name anybody here. Do not name the interpreter. Do not put the languages. Just click on X. Si hay una cosa que deben de saber, do not name the interpreter. Just click on X. The meeting will start and the host, ignoren esa foto horrible, and the host will have, will see this, will see this globe down at the bottom. You'll click on the globe and you will add interpreters. So you have the feature, but now you need the interpreters. You'll add interpreter. You'll go to your list of participants and you will figure out who's going to be the interpreter. Okay. En esta llamada, eh, Ada Volk me parece la intérprete. You click on Ada Volkmer, you name Ada Volkmer Interpreter 1. Ada Volkmer interprets into English and Spanish. It doesn't matter which order these are in. You just say Ada Volkmer interprets into English and Spanish. And Zoom interpreting is hard, so you need another interpreter. So you add Catalina Nieto. Catalina Nieto also speaks English and Spanish. And that's it. You have set up interpretation and you have named your interpreters. It should be working. To end interpretation, you click on the globe again and then you click on end interpretation and that will close down the feature. Lo lograste! You did it! You now know how to host a Zoom meeting with interpretation. Bye!